Salamat Jawa. We return with much to say. Your various programs to bring you prosperity are here. Now you need to better understand what is happening to each of you. Fundamentally, your bodies are transforming and being made ready for your final changes which are to transform you into fully conscious beings of light. This transformation is taking place in stages in a way which enables your body to adjust. At times, these adjustments are difficult for you. These so-called ascension symptoms are things that all of you are feeling. You may experience a strange heartbeat or more fatigue than usual after some strenuous exercise. The severity of what you encounter is predetermined by heaven through the agendas given your many body guardians. You agreed to these agendas before you were embodied on this earth plane. Strict instructions were given to our medical teams as to how to report each individual's vital spiritual, mental, emotional and physical signs. These measurements help us to daily reconfigure your personal crystal light chamber. First contact needs to happen in divine time. Until then, our liaisons constantly check those who are so diligently and wonderfully providing the means to change your realm from dark to light. This process has taken a very long time. It was greatly accelerated by the Anchara Alliance's sudden turnabout forged by specific decrees from the Anchara Continuum. These decrees dovetailed with the ancient prophecies of Archangel Michael for this galaxy. We are now busy merging our fleets and bringing in new members from the star nations formed when the various dark star empires of Anchara dissolved. These new nations deeply desire to obtain light bodies and learn how to use them to ascend. One of your future duties is to aid our associates in the Galactic Federation, to teach them these special gifts. Your wisdom and knowledge on these matters is to be especially helpful in permitting these new star nations to learn these skills. As we work toward the moment for first contact, we are preparing knowledge for future landing sites and pairing each of our mentors with you. The actual mentoring operation is quite complex and requires your full cooperation. Each of you needs to look inside deeply and graciously release the inner demons that you have acquired since birth. Hence, each mentor needs to be allowed to work with you to attack and then release these numerous demons. The Anunnaki once they were given a degree of control over you, began to work upon your fears in order to better manage you. Overall, surface humanity carries with it a legacy of these initial terror traps imposed upon you by the Anunnaki, as well as new traps imposed upon you by your ancestors and their generational experiences. These further add to and make more complex the initial terrors first conceived by the Anunnaki. All of this and much more are to be transformed and released by our mandars. What is immediately ahead for you is prosperity and the rise of new governance. Two months after this happens, disclosure is to occur. We fully expect that this announcement is to lead to ours. At this same moment, we are to see the first lessons from your ascended masters. These lessons are set to ready you for the many new and startling facts you need to know. The Anunnaki began their time with you by inventing a highly misleading and manipulative origin story. This was done so they could announce to you that they were creator gods. The Anunnaki were then able to do outrageous things to maintain this control. These stories need to be replaced by truth. You need to take back your power and freely and righteously correct the horrors of the past. Then you can be free to accept us. We come merely as representatives of your ancestors. We come to gift you with full consciousness and with the opportunity to resume your special position in this galaxy. Blessings. We are your ascended masters. We come in peace and joy. Everywhere on this globe our associates are preparing the way for your prosperity, freedom and for the reacquiring of your blessed personal sovereignty. There are three sacred networks set up for these divine purposes. The first is to assure you your prosperity. 
The second concerns the return to common law and the third is making it possible for new governance to appear. The present financial system, with its illegal payouts to legislators and to the various departments of government, is ideally suited for special interests and a vast abuse of power. This runs counter to what heaven desires for you. Another ill is the vast misrepresentation of law. This creates a set of moralities that also runs counter to your everyday best interests. Heaven desires to transform all of this and provide a secure environment for all. The Creator gave sacred rights to you, and these blessed gifts require a reality which can honor them. This is why our associates forged two of these sacred networks. A fair, common law needs once again to be the way of true justice in your lands. Each individual needs to know that a true legal morality exists. Tied into this is the rise of a vast multi-level house cleaning of governance. Laws similar to Insura were initiated to set up the prototype for such actions. Prosperity can be made permanent only if government is truly fair and reasonable for all. This can only happen if these blessings make possible a complete house cleaning. It is vital to switch governance from war and competitiveness to peaceful orientation and willingness to be cooperative with all. In this environment our lessons can take hold and lead to a truly divine transformation. Finally, there is the important matter of funneling funds to you that were either illegally taken in the past or stem from a vast acquired stream of abundance. These funds are in excellent hands and are to be distributed to all. The present system of limitations and lack really run counter to what has been decreed for everyone in this reality. You are special children of heaven and the time comes to liberate you from lack and give you the tools to achieve your dearest dreams. It is time to end the old power structures, rat race, which kept you in a hole, unable to achieve your deepest desires. We ascended masters have spent millennia keeping you tied to morality and heaven. This is now to be expanded in a way that allows you to know about and achieve your true goals. A special time for all has at last arrived. Hosanna! 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 Today, we continued our weekly message to you. As you can see, important progress is being made that is assuring your prosperity and your freedom. Stay focused on these goals and watch some wonderful events happen before you. Do this all in love and enjoy. No, dear ones, that the countless supply and never-ending prosperity of heaven are indeed yours. So be it. Salamat Gajan. Salamat Ja. Syrian for B1. And be enjoy.